Missouri DOR Motorcycle Practice Test Question Accelerating in a curve A helps stabilize the motorcycle B should not be done C should be done only in small curves D is for experienced riders only 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Accelerating in a curve helps to stabilize the motorcycle. Very slow turns are more dangerous. Question 2. If your front tire fails while riding, you should ease off the throttle and A. Use both brakes and stop on the shoulder of the road. B. Use the front brake and move to the side of the road. C. Use the rear brake and move to the side of the road. D. Pull the kill engine switch and roll to a stop. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. If your front tire fails while riding, you should ease off the throttle and use the rear brake to move to the side of the road. Never use the brake of the flat tire. Question 3. As a motorcycle rider, how many positions do you have available in a single traffic lane? A. 2. B. 3. C. 1. D. 4. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Enter B. As a motorcycle rider, you can be in one of the three positions available to you in a single traffic lane. Question 4. When making a routine stop at a stop sign, you should A. Downshift until rolling to a stop B. Use both front and rear brakes C. Use the front brake only D. Use the rear brake only 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. When making a routine stop at a stop sign, you should use both front and rear brakes. Question 5. If the rear tire goes flat while riding. A. Stop with the rear brake only. B. Stop with the front brake only. C. Use both brakes to stop. D. Use engine braking. 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. If the rear tire goes flat while riding, you should stop by using the front brake only. Never use the brake of a flat tire. Question 6. Your motorcycle chain should be checked. A. Once a month. B. Before every ride as part of the TCLOCS inspection. C. At the start of each season. D. Once a week. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Enter B. ATCLOCS inspection should be conducted before every ride, and includes these checks, T-tires and wheels, C-controls, L-lights and electrics, O-oil and other fluids, C-chassis, S-stands. Question 7. When riding, your clothing should be protective and A. Loose fitting B. Tight fitting C. Made of an approved material D. Completely cover your arms and legs 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. When riding your clothing should be protective and cover your arms and legs completely. This is very important in case of a collision. Question 8. The staggered formation is the best choice when A. Parking parallel to the curb B. Taking curves C. There is an emergency situation D. Riding in a group 
five, four, three, two, one. Answer D. The staggered formation is the best choice when riding in a group. It helps you stay close together while maintaining a space cushion. Question 9. If there are hazards on your left, what lane position should you ride in? A. 2. B. 2 or 3. C. 3. D. 1 or 2. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. If there are hazards on your left, you should ride in lane position 2 or 3. Question 10. At night, how can the car ahead of you help you see obstacles? A. Follow in the path of the other driver. B. Watch the taillights to see bumps on the road. C. Follow the driver very closely. D. Watch the driver's movements. 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. At night, watch the taillights of the car ahead of you. If they bounce, it means that there are bumps on the road you should be aware of. Question 11. All of the following are part of the upshifting process except A. Lift the shift lever as far as it will go. B. Gently apply the front brake while adjusting the throttle. Seize out of the clutch and adjust the throttle. D. Roll off the throttle as you squeeze the clutch. 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. The correct upshift procedure is to 1. Roll off the throttle as you squeeze the clutch, 2. Lift the shift lever as far as it will go, and 3. Ease out of the clutch and adjust the throttle. You do not need to apply the brake. Question 12. How do you achieve maximum straight line braking? A. Fully apply both brakes. B. Apply the front brake quickly. C. Alternate between the front and rear brake. D. Use the rear brake only. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. You can achieve maximum straight line braking by fully applying both brakes. Question 13. Choose the answer that applies best to carrying passengers. A. Passengers should keep their feet on the pegs at all times. B. Passengers should put their feet down at stops. C. Passengers should avoid holding on to the driver. D. Passengers should sit as far back as possible. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. Passengers should keep their feet on their foot pegs at all times, even when the motorcycle is stopped at a light. Question 14. In order for the driver of the vehicle ahead of you to see you easily, the best lane position is? A. The left. B. The right. C. The center. D. Any lane. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. In order for the driver of the vehicle ahead of you to see you easily, the best lane position is the center because drivers look in their rear view mirror more often than in their side mirrors. Question 15. If a vehicle enters your path, you should A. Flash your brake light. B. Beep your horn. C. Tailgate the vehicle. D. Move away from the vehicle. 5 4 3 2 1
Answer D. If a vehicle enters your path, you should move as far away from the vehicle as possible. Question 16. Fill in the blank. Helps you absorb shock when riding over obstacles. A. Rising slightly off the seat. B. Rolling on the throttle. C. Pulling in the clutch. D. Using a higher gear. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. Rising slightly off the seat helps you absorb shock when riding over obstacles. It allows the shock to be absorbed by your elbows and knees. Question 17. Motorcycles are harder to see. How can you increase your visibility? A. Flash your brake light to warn drivers. B. All these answers are correct. C. Use signal lights. D. Wear bright clothing. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Enter B. You can increase your visibility to other drivers by flashing your brake light, wearing bright clothing, and using your signals. Question 18. Which of the following is an OT part of the upshifting process? A. Ease out of the clutch and adjust the throttle. B. Roll off the throttle as you squeeze the clutch. C. Gently apply the front brake while adjusting the throttle. D. Lift the shift lever as far as it will go. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. To upshift, you should 1. Roll off the throttle as you squeeze the clutch, 2. Lift the shift lever as far as it will go, and 3. Ease out of the clutch and adjust the throttle. You do not need to apply the brake. Question 19. When starting off on your motorcycle, you should start with your right wrist. A. Up. B. Straight. C. Flat. D. Locked. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. To keep from accidentally using too much throttle, you should start with your right wrist flat. Question 20. To stop safely on a curb, you should. A. Take your feet off the foot pegs for balance. B. Lean the opposite way of the motorcycle. C. Straighten the motorcycle so that it is perpendicular to the surface of the road. D. Keep your knees against the gas tank. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. To stop safely on a curb, straighten the motorcycle so that it is as perpendicular to the surface of the road as possible. Stopping while leaning can be dangerous. Question 21. In addition to downshifting when you slow or stop, you should also downshift. A. Whenever you pull in the clutch. B. When you are descending a hill. C. While riding on a multi-lane road. D. When you need more power to accelerate. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. In addition to downshifting when you slow or stop, you should also downshift when you need more power to accelerate. Question 22. When you feel like a driver might try to share your lane, what should you do? A. Flash your brake light. B. Ride in the center lane position. C. Swerve from side to side. D. Use hand signals. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Enter B. 
When you feel like a driver might try to share your lane, you should ride in the center lane position to discourage the driver from lane sharing. Question 23. If you believe that your motorcycle has not triggered a light sensor while stopped at a traffic light, when can you proceed? A. When it is safe to do so. B. After waiting two light cycles. C. After waiting for 120 seconds. D. All of the above. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. If you believe that your motorcycle has not triggered a light sensor while stopped at a traffic light, you can proceed after waiting for 120 seconds or two full light cycles, and it is safe to proceed. Question 24. When riding a motorcycle, your arms are primarily used for A. Holding yourself up. B. Making arm signals. C. Applying the brakes. D. Steering the motorcycle. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. When riding a motorcycle, your arms should be used for steering the motorcycle, not for holding yourself up. Question 25. When riding in a group, the staggered formation should be avoided when A. Making turns B. Entering or leaving the highway C. Taking curves D. Doing any of these 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. When riding in a group, the staggered formation should be avoided when entering or leaving the highway, taking curves, or making turns. Question 26. A motorcycle mini lane is A. A special lane designated for motorcycles only. B. A full traffic lane width. C. Half a traffic lane. D. Approximately one-third the width of a traffic lane. 5. 4 3 2 1 Answer D. A motorcycle mini lane is approximately one-third the width of a regular traffic lane. Therefore, there are three motorcycle positions available to a motorcycle in a single traffic lane. Question 27. When slowing down, which brake should you use? A. Front or rear brakes. B. Rear brake only. C. Both front and rear brakes at the same time. D. Front brake only. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. When slowing down, use both front and rear brakes. Although the front brake is more powerful than the rear, both brakes should always be used. Question 28. How can you help balance yourself during motorcycle turns? A. Keep your knees against the gas tank. B. Lean the opposite direction of the motorcycle. C. Take your feet off the foot pegs for balance. D. Turn your torso in the direction of the turn. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. To help balance yourself during motorcycle turns, you should keep your knees against the gas tank. Question 29. Motorcycles are permitted to operate, fill in the blank, abreast in a single lane. A2 B4 C1 D3 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Motorcycles are permitted to operate two abreast in a single lane. However, 
it is always safest for a motorcycle to use the entire lane width. Question 30. The tires on your motorcycle should be checked. A. Once a week. B. At the start of every season. C. Once a month. D. Every time you ride. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. You should check the tires on your motorcycle every time you ride. A tire problem can be a lot more hazardous for a motorcycle rider than a car. Question 31. If you are about to pass a parked car with the driver in the seat, you should A. Wave your arms B. Beep your horn C. Flash your brake light D. Come to a complete stop 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. If you are about to pass a parked car with the driver in the seat, you should beep your horn. Often drivers will not see you coming. Question 32. You are approaching an intersection that has a stop line, but you can tell it is a blind intersection. Where should you stop? A. At the stop line only. B. With the front wheel over the stop line. C. Where you have the most visibility. D. At the stop line first, then pull forward. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. If there is a stop line, you must stop there first. If it is still difficult to see after you have stopped, you can inch forward until visibility improves. Question 33. While riding your motorcycle in high-risk areas, you must cover, fill in the blank, to reduce the time you need to react. A. The clutch in both brakes. B. Your eyes with goggles. C. Your whole travel lane. D. Your head with a helmet. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. While riding your motorcycle in high-risk areas, you must cover the clutch and both brakes to reduce the time you need to react. Question 34. In a single lane of traffic, there are, fill in the blank, lane positions for a motorcycle. A5. B4. C2. D3. 5. 4. 3, 2, 1. Answer D. There are three lane positions for a motorcycle in each lane of traffic. Question 35. If your front tire fails while riding, you should ease off the throttle and A. Use the front brake and move to the side of the road. B. Use the rear brake and move to the side of the road. C. Use both brakes and stop on the shoulder of the road. D. Pull the kill engine switch and roll to a stop. 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. If your front tire fails while riding, you should ease off the throttle and use the rear brake to move to the side of the road. Never use the brake of the flat tire. Question 36. Alcohol affects the body in many different ways, but the first effect is to your A. Reaction time B. Balance C. Vision D. Judgment 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Alcohol affects the body in many different ways. But the first effect is to your judgment. Even if you do not feel other effects, you could be making dangerous decisions. Question 37. How can you increase your visibility to others at night? A. 
Avoid wearing a tinted face shield. B. Wear a bright helmet. C. Wear reflective gear. D. Wear fluorescent clothing. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. Increase your visibility at night by wearing reflective gear. Question 38. When should you take your feet off the foot pegs and skim them on the surface of the road? A. When riding on ice. B. When crossing railroad tracks. C. When riding in a parking lot. D. When riding on metal grating. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. To maintain balance and safety, skim the surface of the road with your feet when riding on ice. If the motorcycle starts to slip, you can steady it with your feet. Question 39. Fill in the blank. Can affect your ability to ride a motorcycle. A. Alcohol. B. Prescription medication. C. Illegal drugs. D. All of these. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Prescription medication, illegal drugs, and alcohol can affect your ability to ride a motorcycle. Question 40. Which of the following should be done at night? A. Follow vehicles closely. B. Avoid riding on rural roads. C. Wear brighter clothing so you can be seen. D. Slow down so you can stop within the range of your headlights. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. At night, it is important to slow down to a speed that allows you to stop safely within the range of your headlights. Question 41. When traveling in a group, you should never ride. A. With more than three motorcycles together. B. Single file. C. Two abreast. D. In a staggered formation. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. When traveling in a group, you should never ride two abreast. Motorcycles require a full length to operate safely. Question 42. The positions within a lane that are available to a motorcycle are A. Center only B. 1, 2, 3, and 4 C. Left and right D. Left, center, and right 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Answer D. In each lane of traffic, there are three positions available to a motorcycle, left, right, and center. Question 43. When starting your motorcycle, your right wrist should be positioned. A. In the most comfortable position. B. Flat, so you won't use too much throttle. C. Low down, to increase control. D. High, to use the throttle the most. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. Position your right wrist flat so that you won't use too much throttle when starting off. Question 44. A front wheel skid can result from A. Turning too quickly. B. The rear wheel locking. C. Only using the rear brake. D. The front wheel locking. 5 4 3 
two one Answer D. A front wheel skid can result from the front wheel locking. Question 45. Choosing the best lane position helps you to A. Communicate what you plan to do. B. Stay out of blind spots. C. Avoid road hazards. D. All these answers are correct. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Choosing the best lane position helps you to stay out of blind spots, avoid road hazards, and communicate what your next move will be. Question 46. The gear shift lever is located A. In front of the right foot rest B. In front of the left foot rest C. By the left handle grip D. By the right handle grip 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. The gear shift lever is located in front of the left foot rest. Question 47. While riding your motorcycle, you approach a crosswalk that a pedestrian has just entered. What should you do? A. Stop inside the crosswalk. B. Proceed as long as you will not hit the pedestrian. C. Stop and wait for the pedestrian to cross the road. D. Proceed if the pedestrian is not in your lane. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. If you approach a crosswalk that a pedestrian has just entered, stop before the crosswalk and wait for the pedestrian to finish crossing the road. Question 48. Which of the following does NOT affect your blood alcohol concentration? A. Your weight. B. How fast you drink. C. Time of day. D. The amount of alcohol. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. The time of day does not affect your blood alcohol concentration. Alcohol can affect your driving at any time. Question 49. If you brake hard on a straightaway and your rear brake locks. A. Release the brake and only use the front brake. B. Continue braking until the motorcycle stops. C. Release all brakes and coast to a stop. D. Pull the engine kill switch. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. If you brake hard on a straightaway and your rear brake locks, continue braking until the motorcycle stops. If your front brake locks, release it immediately and apply it again. Question 50. When starting on a hill, you should use fill in the blank to hold you while you wait for the engine to take hold. A. The clutch. B. The rear brake. C. The front brake. D. Your feet. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. When starting on a hill, you should use the rear brake to hold you while you wait for the engine to take hold. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and share.